Alright, let's see what to choose. I mean, lower trust, which is, wow, what a heartwarming, savvy speech. I don't know what to say or make a joke like regain my dignity. Hmm. So we can get all the openness and then possibly get that ending. Get even less trust or even less openness. Well, push away Jigen even more or just let him be. <laughs> well, it's basically make friends with him again mm. or keep going. Oh, we could go with the other one. Yeah, I like Jigen. <laughs> Fake my best, most winning smile. Thanks for the advice, but you're worried over nothing. Yeah. Sent a calling card to Pops yesterday, and he's gonna be here any minute. <laughs> Told him I was gonna steal the whole Willis Tower as my big comeback job. <laughs> Sears. Sears? Sears? Sears. Uh, nobody around here calls it that. It's obvious you've, <clears throat> you've done zero research. You sound like a fool. Lupin's gonna steal Sears. <laughs> Too bad most of them are out of business already. Gene mm. leans back, getting comfortable on the bench. Hmm. What? That just annoyed him. And why don't I feel better? Ugh. I should be feeling three times as open right now. How am I supposed to open up to him if I can't soothe my own ego first? Gene won't look away from me. Hmm. Hmm. No, hmm. oh, the next page. Okay, you're out of your mind if you think I'll take you back. You know you were totally wrong about my marriage. My heart feels like someone took a cheese grater out of it. Hmm. Either dog. One of them. <laughs> it's hard to choose now. Uh. Try to get more openness again. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You said that we wouldn't last six months. And when I told Fujiko that, she got a good laugh too. So you both lasted seven months. Just to spite my estimate. He shakes his head. Both of you are... Uh, both of you are really... Uh, both of you really do have a... Chemistry all on your own. Whether it's one month or one year, you were wrong. It's all that matters. He pushes his head down over his eyes, cringing at my behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, that certainly didn't make me feel more confident and open. I told you to chill, man. So you won't look away from me. Ugh. Take your time, man. Gene uh. takes a deep breath. Hmm. Why won't he leave? If I'm hurting him now, it's for his own good. <laughs> Even more. Make a joke. Oh, it's this one again? Yeah, it's a circle back. I don't know what to say. The words sputter past my tongue. How did I manage to get that out? I'm not exactly feeling very open right now. I shouldn't have been able to say that, right? It sounds so uncool right now, but it's true. I have no idea what to say. You don't gotta say anything, man. But if you wanna say something, just try to not be a huge asshole. <laughs> I know it's hard to, for you, but I've got faith. She didn't wanna look away from me. My heart feels like someone took a cheese grater to it. I think more of the honesty part. Dig the words up and don't really expect them to come out of my mouth. Why did I just say that and how? I'm not going to get anything out of opening up to Jigen right now. I'm not trading the information for any favors. And I'm not trying to make him stick around. I give a helpless, confused shrug. Is this when you hit me with the I told you so? Not that you wouldn't deserve it. <laughs> but no. I told you so. Uh, or deserved for when you're so damn... You're a, a damn fool who won't learn his lesson. I don't think it's 
uh, appropriate here. Yeah. Huh. Thank heavens for small comforts. <laughs> huh. That didn't hurt as much as I expected it to. She didn't want to look away from me. Hmm. No, you know, this is... No, that's the big choice, and one of them just says game over. Should have listened to your advice, I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, let's put all that in the past handsome kiss me. Well, maybe I could do a job or two with you for old time's sake. Hmm. I think each one's an yeah, ending, maybe. I think so. Let's just try game over. I can barely get my throat to loosen. That's one thing to say and lie. When I lie, words float away from my mouth like empty air. I have to push these up my throat and out my mouth. They feel so heavy, they'd plummet right out and crack the pavement at my feet. I took you for granted. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? An apology? Come on, man. Apologies don't sound right coming out of your mouth. Mm. You bastard. <laughs> I ought to take it back. Why are you here if you don't want an apology? You followed your heart. And it didn't work out. Just like that, sometimes. You said that you weren't sticking around. And now you're back. I said I wouldn't hang around while you got your heart smashed. And I said I would, uh, wouldn't help you sweep it up. What's oh, going on? Hey. All of a sudden I have to turn around. There's a very interesting building over there. Nope. And I have my... F and I turn my face away from Jigen to look at it. Jigen? I... Don't deserve this. Ha. <laughs> Ain't that the God's w word? <laughs> owns truth. You're a manipulative little asshole. <laughs> of course you don't. Don't understand. Was it something I said back in Florence? Did I make the right first impression way back when I rescued him from the mob? If he knows I've been manipulating him, then how could he still want me? I'm floundering for words, but he just grins and tugs on his hat brim. Sheesh. You'll never understand this in a million years. But I'll try to tell you anyway. Whether I trust you or not ain't uh, something you can worm your way into with charm. Sure, it's nice that you use it to smooth over fights. And I don't mind a kick in the right direction now and then. But <clears throat> you didn't earn my trust. I'm choosing to give it. But I don't deserve it. Maybe not. But well, that ain't your call, Meek. That, yeah. That, but that ain't your yeah, call, Yeah, I think make. you said it. Yeah. I say you deserve it. I get to make that call. So, if you want, if I want a trash, trashy little son of a bitch for a partner, then you, then the rule, your rule is on whether you deserve it or not. Uh, not don't really matter, huh? I said you're mine, so you're mine. Capsi. Capiche. Capiche. But Something still enters his gaze, and I can see Jig embracing himself. Mm. Now, give it to me straight. Then Zenigata appears in a helicopter. <laughs> Do you really want me to leave? Or are you done with this whole temper tantrum? This is an important moment. Oh. I need to take it seriously and choose carefully because the outcome of my time with Jigen depends on it. I need to think back on all my conversations with Jigen and remember what he wants to hear. Oh. It's important that I don't blow this chance to get him on my side again. But if I play this right, I can handle all this without bruising my pride. He's in love with me, so I can use that to my advantage. Uh. And if I think about it, he always comes back anyway. Good old reliable Jigen. More like a puppy than partner. Hey there. Oh. Could you get ready to mash a space bar for me? Oh, God. Ah. I'll put it back. I could do all this <laughs> on my own. Let me just, uh, boop, yeah, boop. You said smash. Oh, I did. Eh. 
click with anything. Oh. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I can do all this on my own, yeah. Oh, okay. Just laugh it off. Doing just fine anyway. Don't get lonely. He's just a gun. <laughs> Never show your true face. Too amazing to need help. Just the Lupin way. <laughs> Granddad would never approve. Great Lupin's out. <laughs> Can't trust anyone. Too good for this. Makes me uncomfortable. I can get away with it anyway. Don't want to be weak. But I'm a legend. <laughs> Too tough for this. Can just walk all over anyone I want. He's way up there. Yeah, he's destroying everything. Yeah. Too strong and cool. Can't trust anyone. Too strong and cool. Can't trust anyone. Too strong and cool. Can't trust. Can't trust. Can't trust. Can't trust. Oh. He broke down the wall. Hey, uh, you okay there? Just a little redecorating in the mine palace is nothing big. Uh, okay. <laughs> But I still need an answer, Lupin. Gene swallows the lump in his throat. Mm. Do you want me? Okay, answer honestly. Push through the, the cringing feeling of opening up and just say... <laughs> yes, chicken shot, I miss you so much. I was such an idiot. I just want to go get a drink with you and screw up. Screw until the tears stop. Back. Gene pats me on the back. Okay, so for the future, you don't have to be a completely unguarded. It's all or nothing, Jigo. I can feel his chest, chest uh, shake as he tries not to laugh. Here you go. You need this more than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, you're safe. Now we could get to you when you've uh, got that on. Pretty powerful armor, huh? Oh yeah, state of the art. Guess my jigging long con is over. I felt to convince you that I'm a bulletproof manly thief extraordinaire. Oh, you failed that from the start, partner. Jigging? Yeah. I love you. Lupin. Then don't go off and marry someone else again. You guys are one. If you want me to be so bad, marry me yourself. It's partners, not. or nothing, buddy. He's choking. <laughs> yes! Uh, I can't tell if that's like ending one or that's a secret ending or the other ending. Oh, well, we did it. And my leg is destroyed. There's a sushi. And another sushi. Yay. Oh, God. Okay, okay, what? See you, Ocha. Yeah, all of them. Lucky, Whoa. tornado, fire treasure, conversation theme set, uh, tornado just... finale. <laughs> then the additional songs. Yeah. And the play testers. Yeah, we couldn't be any of those. Mm hmm. We didn't have the time. Well, also, we didn't want to yeah, like, we play just... it before we could record it. Yeah. Ah, my leg. Up on the third, and his wild crew created by Monkey Punch. Yeah. Thanks for playing. <laughs> you unlocked a special scene. Access it through the extras menu. Huh. Okay, what's the extras? Let's check it out. Ah, oh, my leg. Oh. Okay, how much did we unlock? Let's see. Wait, did we actually see all the sprites? Hmm. That is just really cool. I like this. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's the game over. There's the going on. Yeah. <laughs> Music room. I think we got think? it all. Now the bonus scene. Developer notes. Oh. Hi, I thank you for playing our game after Lupin's still flirting. We hadn't planned on making another Lupin game, but uh, I'd been wanting to make a conversation-based game with more stats, and I like the idea of using character sprites themselves to display a stat. Jigen's hat was pretty perfect for the idea before I knew it was 
we're way steep in the development game. But yeah, the bonus scene, you have to click on the bonus scene. Yeah. And this was easily our biggest game yet and my first time working with a larger team. I'm very grateful to the me and Sheen <laughs> for their patience while I learned how to handle a dev cycle longer than a month. Every time I got to hear a new track or see Sheen's beautiful work, I was amazed. Nothing makes you want to work harder than seeing other people's talents and hard work. Hmm. Uh, that's it, sir. Once again, traditional the sprites are Gansai, Tambi, watercolor. The backgrounds are Gochi and hmm. sprites hmm. Of, for chapter 4 were inked in Bristol board with fountain pen brush hmm. and deleter ink several expressions were done later digitally which made it easier to add extra life to the scene while programming there are some big downsides of doing a lot of work yourself and adding elements will uh, added will both a blessing and a curse also digital was a background for chapter four i wasn't very keen on having an age paper in the oven and then scan and my watercolors already turn out bumpy enough <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, we tried to pay homage to different generations. Lupin for each chapter. Chapter 1 is combination mm -hmm. part 1 and the woman called Fujiko. Yeah. Mina E. Uh, yeah, big space. Yeah, I think they messed up on that. Chapter 2 is part 2 with a nod for the start of Castle. Yeah, the Castle mm -hmm. of Lustro. Chapter 3 is meant to be more like part 4 and mm -hmm. foreshadows the plot of part 5 where Lupin and Fujiko get divorced. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're wondering what happened to Lupin and Jean after the game, part 5 has them undercover as a pair of married granddads for the better part of the season they talk about their grandkids and eventually it's great <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm halfway right. through mm. chapter four of course it attempts a monkey punch's style the script is chapter four was incredibly depressing but adding in the art given an injection of energy and humor also manga lupon is notorious for being not the nicest fellow so it was a prime way <laughs> to show lupon the nastiest and how even uh, that wouldn't drive Jean away. Mm. Uh, there was also the first time working with a coordinated group of playtesters hiding behind every mainstream smash or indie darling. There is a group of playtesters hacking away at the rough edges. I can't think of them enough, and neither can you. You don't want to know how bad the trial was in 0 0.0852 <laughs> version. Damn. We're hoping to make a professional game next, so if you want more Lupin games, it's on you. Wouldn't It'd be funny if the Lupin Phantom got known for making really good fan games. You should do it just as a joke and so we'll play the next game. <laughs> but yeah, bonus scene. Yeah, it's clicking on. Let's see. Oh. The sun was low in the sky and across the beach, everything in view was bathed in golden hues. Yeah. <sighs> the evening was hot, but a breeze passed by, cool and refreshing, and Goimon was in the water. <laughs> Inside the hotel behind them, two skilled thieves were arguing over the viability of cutting an airplane in half oh. while standing on the wing of another airplane. <laughs> but out here on the balcony, two more thieves attempted to give each other some space. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Jigen's cigarette shrank from a long inhale before he finally spoke. Did Lufon ever tell you it was messed up that you dumped him? Well, I'll to you too. And uh, no. No, he didn't. Really, I don't see why you're complaining. Don't you think it turned out for the best? Jigen crossed his arms and chewed on his cigarette. Mm hmm. For me, maybe. But it hurt him a lot. You owe him an apology bigger than that drink of yours. Fujio, who had been in the midst of taking a sip, laughed. <laughs> and did her best not to spray any of the liquid over the edge. <laughs> her laugh chimed like the ice in her glass. <laughs> Budging and thought it felt much colder. Hmm. Thought you would have known by now. I'll never apologize for disloyalty. We were miserable. Him, me, you, going on. <sighs> I did us all a favor. <laughs> yeah, she looked at her drink. We're all better off with this arrangement. She resumed drinking and Jigen gave a cigarette another minute of thoughtful chewing. Mm, I guess so. You can have a smug victory scoff about how right you were if that'll satisfy you. It's not that. She raised her immaculate eyebrows by a millimeter. Hmm. Okay, it's a little that. But I wanted him to be happy. 
And now, yes, so are you. I'm uh, going to say thank you. Like my thank yous with chocolates or fruit baskets, either is fine with me. Maybe combine to make a chocolate dipped fruit basket. Mm. Or you can give me your share of the next highest. Diamonds to every occasion. Keep it simple. <sighs> or you just. <clears throat> or you can just be a bit nicer to me. You can spat out a cigarette. <laughs> I'm plenty nice. If this is you being nice, I get why you're such a loner. Hmm. I'll see what I could do. Good, we're basically family after all. Gene had already started brooding around in his pockets to replace a cig he had just prematurely wasted. <laughs> you robbed your family? If they have something I want. He lit the new cigarette and clamped the pristine stick between angry jaws. <sighs> see... How am I supposed to trust you when you say stuff like that? Jigen? Gonna ask, why do you hold a grudge against me? Seems like even for people who try to kill you, you let it go. Jigen flicked a few ashes over off the balcony. <laughs> when it became clear that no answer was forthcoming, Fujiko continued. And those girls he has flings with. You don't talk to them like you do to me. I try not to talk to them at all. Don't dodge a question, you know what I mean. Goemon loves Lupin too, but you're nice to Goemon. <laughs> so I have to assume there's something special about me. Jigen leaned over the railing, teeth grinding, well on his way to ruin his current filter. Special is right. And Jigen huffed out a lung full of smoke. <laughs> For a minute, it looked like he wasn't going to respond at all. Hmm. Fujiko rolled her eyes. Fujiko considered taking her drink and leaving. She had better things to do then. You hurt me in a way other people can't. That's it. She put her glass down across her legs. What do you want me to do about it? The silence lingered again, but this time she knew to wait it out. Maybe who I really want you to apologize to isn't Lupin. It's going on. <laughs> But I'm still waiting for it. You're right. He doesn't need an apology. He would never ask for one. Fujiko gave another icy laugh. But what exactly am I apologizing to you for? Mm. Never mind. Be a big boy and use your words. It's embarrassing. I don't care if it's embarrassing. I want to stop getting snippy comments and accusing stares. She looked him in the eye. Or rather, she did the best she could concerning the hat. <laughs> she was going to give it to him straight. Maybe you pretend I don't, but I do have feelings. We've known each other for longer than I care to admit, Jigen. Let's get this over with. Jigen threw the cigarette on the balcony and ground it under his heel. Hmm. Okay, fine. If Lupin had a pick between you and me, he'd pick you every goddamn time. And what do you know? That kind of leaves me feeling a little sore. But he doesn't have to pick. No one is asking him to. And I'm not going to apologize for your insecurities. Gene pulled his hat further down his face. <sighs> that's not even... That's not my insecurities. He turned away from Fujiko, glaring out over the water. <laughs> Fujiko sighed and sat out. Sat up. Yeah. Jigen. I love Lupin. Jigen turned back to Fujiko. And from this angle, she could make out a wide-eyed stare under his brim. His gaze was filled with too many emotions for her to catalog right now. If she tried, she'd probably lose her nerve. So she finished as quickly as she could. But he's just too much. Do you understand? No. When you love a guy, you take the... Good with the bad. I do take the good with the bad, but I don't see why I should have to take it every day. I want to come and go as I please. I want to always look forward to seeing him again. But there's only one person who can stand in, stand him day in, day out. And not me. It's but, Senigata. Oh. Or, or going on. Or anyone else envies you that grueling chore. That done, she leaned back in her chair again. Senigata. 
<laughs> Take it from someone else who tried it. Living with him is a huge pain in the ass. She can turn away from her again. But she heard a chuckle. Yeah, it is. You would know better than I do. Just always being around isn't much to him. He wants excitement. He wants someone like you. He says it's all, <clears throat> it's all the time how much he worships you. Good. She crossed her leg, long legs. Ugh. I like being worshipped. But I don't like it when people assume you can count on me. And more than anything else, he assumes you'll be there for him. Jean slunk over a nearby chair. Mm -hmm. I know. Idiot that I am. I always be there for him. He always... He knows I'm the only one who doesn't have self-respect. Fujio finishes her drink. You're very good at grumbling. Yeah, exactly what you wanted, and you're coming up with new reasons to complain. She finishes the umbrella, yeah, the umbrella out of her glass. Hmm. Or fishes. Yeah. Uh, does snotty little Lupin take you for granted? Or does the world's greatest thief rely on his partner? Which does it feel like to you? He, he trusts me with the thrill of the heist. Oh, excuse me. Right. And don't you think that means something? It means everything to me. She flicked the tiny umbrella at him. Ugh. And it landed on his hat brim. Hmm. There. Can you stop imagining yourself in a second place? It's not a race, Jigen. He felt for the tiny decoration and tucked it into his hat band. Mm. I'll try. He tilted his hat up long enough to show a great, show a grateful, honest smile. Those eyes made the discomfort rise in Fujiko's stomach. Hmm. And she took a deep breath. Sorry. Jigen found himself chuckling. <laughs> I forgive you. Good. She dumped the ice out of the deck, out on the deck. Mm. That better cover everything because that's the only apology you're getting. I thought they were getting to the end that changed the music. <laughs> the rest of it is in your head. You're not getting any apology of your negative self image. If I was, you'd be apologizing all day long. No, uh, well, well, well. A joke? And it wasn't even on my expense. I told you I'd try. She couldn't help it. A smile blossomed across her cherry red lips. I suppose friendship isn't so bad, is it? Debatable. I'll follow up with uh, future feedback. I'm a 10 out of 10, trust me. Friendship I could do, but I trust you. Gene stuffed his hands in his pockets, but he was grinning. <laughs> That's pushing a lady. Oh, that was the bonus part, though. Nah. Oh, we did it, and then we have to do other things. Yeah, about that another time. All right, see you next time then. Bye.